Welcome everyone. Let's have a chat about extra phrasal verbs that we can discuss. Let's try this together. So uh, here we can go with the picture and then complete it with the correct phrasal verb. Now, Daniel, can you try the first one? Uh, which Daniel? Uh, uh, yeah, Daniel P. You try it, yeah. Okay, uh, look after. Yeah, can you translate it? Uh, jako hl... Starat se... Uh, starat se o děti, je. A nebo o někoho, okay, starat se okay. o někoho. Good. Look after. Yeah, I will turn the volume off. So let's try this one. The light, then uh, Jan, can you tell me? I'll turn I always on. try ask you to unmute, yeah, because I don't want to call you by full names. Yeah, right. Turn on. Uh, turn on, thank you. Zap note, right? Then let's try Wojtech, can you try? Oh uh, yeah, this uh, take out. Take out, can you translate it? Uh, vyhodit, no, od nás. Mm -hmm. Good job. Uh, Peter, can you try this one? Uh, think about. Can you translate? Mm, přemýšlet o. Mm -hmm. Good job. Then we have uh, Daniel. Daniel S. Uh, break up. There we go. Uh, can uh, a husband and wife break up? Uh, no. No. So what will happen among them? Uh, there will be what? They can divorce. Get divorced, yeah. Get divorced, rozvést výborně, or simply split up. You can use split up, což znamená rozdělit se. But break up is just used for girlfriend and boyfriend. Okay, that's it. Thank you. Thank you. Let's try this one. Uh, Philip, can you try? Mm. Put out, maybe. Um, I will ensure it. This. Mm. No, no, we want to say někomu vynadat. Vynadat někomu. Hello. Tell off, yeah? Because that means there is some interaction, right? So tell somebody off or tell off a student. Někomu vynadat. Výborně. Then we have the next one. Martin, can you try? Okay, I think uh, throw away. Yes, can you translate it? Vyhodit. Excellent, good. Uh, let's try Matyáš. Can you try this one? Uh, take out. Yeah, and what is the translation here? Jako vzít. Mm, z bankomatu peníze vybí, vybíráme peníze, right? Also a phrasal verb in Czech, actually. Take out the money. Good. Let's try this one. Uh, Matěj. Uh, put up. Uh, put up, no. No, no. Tak put out. Put out, good. Can you translate it? Uh, Odložit oheň. No, 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 no. We are using this thing here, fire extinguisher, and we use it to put out the fire. Takže uhas. No, uhasit. Uhasit, yeah? You can also, for example, put out a cigarette. All right? That means you, you have a cigarette and then and you simply put it out. To znamená zhasnout oheň jednoduše. Ať je kdekoliv, třeba na cigaretě, anebo maybe in the room. All right? Put out the fire. Good, thank you. Let's try the next easy. Uh, take off. Take off. Can you translate it? Sundat. Sundat, výborně. Uh, by the way, take off can have a different meaning, easy. Do you know any other meaning? What if I say a plane takes off? Vzletět. Vzletět, výborně. So there are two possibilities. It's not here, though. Uh, then, Alexa, can you try this one? Slow runners. Uh, uh, fall behind. And can you translate it? Are you able to translate it? Mm, maybe no. Oh, okay, who wants to try? How can we translate this one? Maybe no. Můžeme přeložit jako zaostávat v češtině, anebo být pozadu. Okay? So that means you are not as good as others. All right? In, in some activity. All right? It can be running here, for example. So fall behind. What is the best tense of fall? Alexa, can you try? Past tense of fall, minuli čas. Alexa. Okay, then anybody else knows how to say uh, past tense of fall? Minuli čas of fall. Fell, there we go. Yeah, I just need to ask you because it's very irregular. 
Thank you. Let's try this one. Uh, Jan, Jan S. Uh, it's sit up. Sit up. There we go. Uh, maybe Jan, Jan R. Can you uh, uh, sleeping. Sleeping. Can you translate it? Uh, zaspat. Zaspat. Do you know any uh, word, one word that will be just one word for the same meaning? Mm, I don't know. You looked it up, no? Together with Easy. I think you looked it up. On yeah, yeah, but I don't I don't remember and, the word. Then Easy, do you remember this word? Zaspat? You had it. Over... Oversleep. Oversleep. Oversleep, yeah? Oversleep or sleep in. Both are okay. Thank you. Let's try another one. Uh, maybe Wojciech. Um, move in. Nastěhovat se výborně. Move yeah. in. Thank you. Then uh, Richard, can you try this one? Uh, get up. Get up, yeah. It's probably the one of the first phrasal verbs that everybody learns in English. Easy peasy. Uh, Peter, can you try this one? Uh, turn down. Turn down, yes. Can you translate it? Uh, vypnout. Nebo stlumit. Stlumit je lepší. Vypnout je turn off. Okay, be careful. Thank you. Then Matyash, can you try this? Uh, put up. Put up. Can you translate it? Jedná se o to, když já něco postavím někam. To znamená, já něco buď to pověsím ve stylu jako ty dekorace, a takže tady bychom to přeložili jako nazdobit. But you can, for example, put up a tent. What is a tent? Do you know? Anybody? Stan. Stan. Takže když já řeknu put up a tent, tak já postavím stan. Jde o to, že já něco postavím někam. OK? Postavit. Postavit dekorace do slova tady. All right. Uh, thank you. Let's try another one. Filip, can you try? Yeah. Put, mm, put away groceries. Groceries. Can you translate it? Uh, jako že dá. Or odložit. Yeah, that's what we would say. Uh, easy. Can you try this one? Do up your shoes. Up. That's it. We use it for shoelaces, but also it can be used for when you have a shirt and you have buttons. Do up your buttons. Okay. That, that's the also phrasal verb for doing up the buttons. Knoflíky, okay. Or it can also be used for shoelaces. Both are okay. Thank you. Let's try this one. Um, uh, maybe Daniel P. Can you try? Um, I think it's a hang out. Hang up. Hang Sorry. up. That's it. Hang out is uh, a different meaning. You can hang out <laughs> with your friends. That means you, you stay with them for some free time. Uh, hang up your coat. Do you know the past tense of hang? Uh, Give me new chance of hang. Anybody knows? Uh, it's irregular. Hang. Uh, hang. Okay. And how do you write it? Uh, uh, H. English you... or a Czech <laughs> spell. It's okay in English, yeah. So uh, H U N G, yeah, U. So because, but we we read it hung, yeah. We hung up, and this one is hang. Thank you. Then uh, let's try Alexa next one. Uh, lie down. Lie down. Good. Can you anybody in the chat send me how you would write? Uh, the present continuous. Jak napíšu přítomný průběhový čas, že právě teď ležím. Jak byste to napsali s tím Inguvin Farm? Can you write in in the chat? Jak se tam dá ten Inguvin Farm? To, to, that's the important part. Takže jako ležím právě teď. No, not laying. I am lying down like this. Okay. I'm writing it in the chat. I'm lying down. So be careful. There's this uh, really strange spelling uh, when we use it in ING. All right. Do you know any different meaning of lie? Because lie, I call it Anybody knows the different meaning? If you if you lie, you don't tell the truth. Both are, you know, the same spelling. So be careful here. Thank you. Let's try this one. It's a Vipony. It's Matye. Can you try? Um, fill out. Fill out. Thank you. Next one. Uh, maybe Jan S. Can you tell me? 
uh, put on. Put on, thank you. Martin, někomu něco rozdat? Yeah, okay, uh, hang out. Uh, not hang. Hand out. Hand out. Hang out is again, you spend free time with your friends. You hang out with your friends. Thank you. Yeah. Then, uh, Philip, can you try this one? Pick up. Pick up litter. Can you translate it? Zbírat. Zbírat. Do you know uh, if I say, can you pick me up at six o'clock? Once again? Zvednout. Vyzvednout, výborně. So pick somebody up uh, is a different meaning. And also I want to tell you an extra word. There is this thing called pick me up. And it's one word, it's, it's one word. Something which makes, you, which makes you feel better, often a drink or tonic, okay? It's traditional around here to drink brandy with coffee as a morning pick me up. How can we translate the word pick me up in this context? Morning pick me up. Výborně, super, anebo vyzdvihovák, bychom mohli možná říct. But basically a drink that will make you feel good in the morning. Okay? Pick me up, it's called. And it's always pick me up. Even if it's for, you know, you or him, all right? Then pick me up. Thank you. This is just an extra thing for you. So pick up litter. Uh, this one here, Peter, can you try? Uh, and then... Ano, can you translate? Mm, what is that? What is that? Richard, can you try this? Try on. Try on, can you translate? Uh, zkusit se. Ano, vyzkoušet, ano. Let's try this one, Matyáš. Fill up. Uh, fill up, good. Can you translate? Naplnit. Yes, good job. Here, um, Jan, Jan L, can you tell me? A breakdown. Mm -hmm. Can you translate? Uh, rozbít. Rozbít nebo porouchat se, výborně. Uh, next one, Alexa. Uh, login. Login, can you translate? No, jako zalogovat, nevím. Doslova zalogovat se, anebo přihlásit se k účtu, no. výborně. Thank you, uh, Jan S, maybe, can you try this one? Uh, run out of battery. Run out of battery, can you translate? Vybije se baterka, nebo dojde no, baterie. Nebo něco nám dojde. Došlo mi něco, nějaký materiál nebo baterie. Výborně. Easy. Can you try this one? Workout. Mm -hmm. And how would you translate it? Vyřešit, vymyslet. OK, anebo na něco přijít. Výborně, přesně tak. And also, do you know a different meaning of workout? For example, in the gym? Cvičit. Cvičit, výborně, že posilovat, anebo může být, že na něco přijdu, výborně. Then uh, here, Vojtěch, can you try? Um, lay, lay, out. lay out the table, can you translate? Jako připravit, nebo... No, nebo prostřít. Prostřít, yeah. Prostřít stůl, right? That's the idea. Layout is basically for anything that you put on the table, all right? For example, I have a map and I will lay it out on the table. I will, I have a map, I will make it bigger and I will put it on the table. I will lay it out, okay? So it means uh, you take something and you put it on the table, basically, you lay it out. That's the idea. Uh, let's try another one. Um, Peter, can you try? Uh, read out. Read out loud, thank you. Uh, maybe here, let me ask uh, Daniel P. Can you try? Can you add meat note? Uh, that is turned down. Turn down, thank you. And then uh, Martin, can you try this one? Yeah, uh, wake up, probudice. Wake up in the morning, good. Daniel S, can you tell me this one? Trees? Uh, trees fall down. Excellent, good job. And the last one, Matej. Um, no. <laughs> come on, come on. Friends, get on well. And can you translate it? How do you translate it, Matej? Oh, no. Kamarádi spolu, co? Vychá... Dobře, vycházejí. Vycházet s někým, přesně tak. Get on is British English. In American English, they would say get along. Get along. This would be more American. Get along with, all right? Both are okay. It's just that you should know both. Thank you very much, guys. So that's all with regards to the phrasal verbs. 
I hope you had a good time with this little competition and I will see you again next week. Yeah? Good luck with your homework and uh, take care, guys. Bye-bye.